Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll be talking about the upcoming theatrical production of Cabaret here at Troy University. And my guests today, Caitlin Hicks and Lacey Alexander, are members of the cast of Cabaret to talk a little about the performance. Uh, and I guess in the spirit of the play, Willkommen. Uh, <laughs> you know, what are the, the first things you hear in this, in this performance? Uh, tell us a little bit about Cabaret. Obviously, a lot of people have probably seen the movie. Some of them may have seen the perform the play, but there's a chance to see it here at, at Troy University. So, but for those that, that have completely no idea what they're getting into, tell us mm -hmm. about Cabaret. It takes place in 1930s Berlin in a nightclub right as the Nazi party is coming into power. And it follows a American novelist who has come to Berlin to kind of find a muse for his new novel. And he falls in love with one of the cabaret girls named Sally. And they're kind of trying to fall in love while the world is in chaos around them and stuff like that. And we really do get to see the Nazis effect on people directly. Like my character, I'm a German woman, but I want to marry a Jewish man. And so we get to see how the Nazi party coming to power affects me personally and affects that character personally. So it's going to be really an interesting thing to see. And that a lot of the historical basis in this uh, musical, and but a lot of people who are who are just kind casually familiar with cabaret know it for the dance numbers and the music, but don't really know about the heavier themes involved with it. Is that something as as I guess as as actresses when you went into this that that maybe you weren't prepared when you heard oh we're doing a musical that there was going to be <laughs> such a heavy theme behind it? Well. Um... We knew going in that it was a dark theme, mm -hmm. but before the cold read that we all had, I had no idea how dark it was. But the biggest benefit, I think, to me with the dance aspect is that this is the first show in a really long time that the actual dance side of our department has been able to collaborate with us, which has been really neat because we've gotten to meet a lot of dancers that we don't get to spend a lot of time with. But we also have top-notch um, dance and technical training that they get to do, but it's been a really nice experience to have the upbeat dances, but also balanced with the dark and really risque side. And so I think it's a, a show for everybody because it has really nice um, life lessons, but also it's a really entertaining show to watch. And, of course, and that's part of it. You know, it's the theater and dance department, and a lot of times uh, you don't get to get them together it, it may be smaller parts but something like cabaret a fossey you're talking mm -hmm. like it's known for the dance numbers yes. and so being able to incorporate the the dance program and part of it obviously you all get to do some dancing yourselves mm -hmm. uh, a little bit but it's good to have have some of that support from the rest of the program oh, absolutely there. and they're mm -hmm. so wonderful so it's awesome for us to be able to showcase their talents too because a lot of people come to the theater shows sometimes, but not as many that aren't already interested in dance will venture out to go see the dance concerts. So it's wonderful that they get to showcase their talents for everybody because they have a right to be seen. They're wonderful. And now, uh, if anyone out there is interested in seeing it, we haven't touched on that yet. Uh, when do they get a chance to, to see, th see this? So We are going to open October 27th, and we're going to go through October 30th. Every uh, show is at 7 p.m. in the Trojan Center Theater. And you can get tickets at the Trojan Center box office, which is by the Barnes & Noble here. And we will also have a flash ticket sale from 11 to 1 in the Trojan Center um, cafeteria area for student tickets that are $1. But we're only selling the $1 tickets for those two hours, Thursday and Friday. And so I'll you, be there. So, yeah. so you get a chance to meet one of, one of the actors there. Now, now, uh, we'll, now that they know how to get tickets and, and, and get in there, let's talk a little about the, the uh, your roles. Uh, we, we've been, we've Heard a little bit about Lacey. Uh, Caitlin, tell us a little about uh, the character you're playing in this. Um, my name is Fräulein Kost, and mm -hmm. I am actually a German prostitute who okay. lives day-to-day -day life. I live in her. She rents out rooms in a home, so I live in her home. Um, and I sort of um, basically bounce around from man to man, but there is a specific. His name is Ernst. Um, and he is an actually, he's an, a Nazi, and I'm a Nazi sympathizer, so there's a really harsh aspect to that because I end up treating her and her fiance um, pretty horribly and turn them in and everything but it's just it's been really tough for me because that's a really hard role <laughs> to connect with but it's also been a really great growing experience too. And of course and did you do a lot of research in this and in, in looking into the historical aspects that's going into this because obviously there is based on history and a lot of things that went on back there did you personally both of you do any kind of heavy research into looking into this we did a lot of historical research we also did a lot of accent work um with jesse yes. graham who's an adjunct professor on campus with us 
learning how to carry that German tongue, if you will. And um, as far as the historical research goes, it was really interesting to find, like, just how quick the Nazis rose and, like, how fast the world turned upside down and how that personally affects both of our characters is that we didn't really have a lot of time to prepare. Our characters didn't for this completely new side of this country. The, the, the revolution coming there. Well, here's hoping that folks get a chance to uh, check out the show this week and uh, uh, seeing Cabaret uh, and uh, don't want to say good luck to you, but uh, break a leg <laughs> uh, and, uh, and have a good show. And thank you both for joining thank me here you. today. Thank so, you. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.